guys, it's me Minori and um, wait a sec, oh. <laughs> there you are, and my pet Baymax, welcome back to my channel, hi, if you guys have been watching my videos, and to those of you, I love you guys so much, you guys know that I went on to a huge shopping spree and bought all these markers recently, this is just like perfection, by the way, I did shoot a video of myself organizing these markers and my room, so I may upload a video on it later, maybe, but we'll see. With this eye candy in front of me, I could not resist but to draw. Ever since I've got these markers, I've been drawing every single day for a whole week. You know, I was just too excited. There were so many other video ideas that I had in mind, but I just couldn't do those. I just had to draw. So this is a video of me drawing for a whole week. Let's get started. So what to draw for my first drawing? I wanted to draw something that you guys have been requesting and a lot of you guys have commented to draw more Kimetsu no Yaiba. I totally understand, it's so big right now and I'm all into it. Let's start off with Kimetsu. Since this is my first drawing, I wanted to choose a character who I'm comfortable with, someone who I wanted to draw, so I decided to draw Shinobu. By the way, I've done like a 24 hour drawing video before, which has over 2 million views now. Oh wow. But for that video, I think I was kind of rushing. Half of them were quite small as well, so it was like less time consuming. I think I made like 11 drawings in that video. But for these drawings, I wanted to make like the best drawings that I could at this current moment. I wanted to take my time, slowly and carefully, and I promised myself I would only draw when I felt like it. I wanted all the drawings to fill up the whole page. So, spoiler alert, I made 5 drawings in total, but I took so much more time on each of them. And now, since I have a whole collection of markers, I was able to use a lot more colors into my drawings. I have to say, these drawings turned out to be the best drawings I've ever made traditionally. And please let me explain, you don't need a whole collection of markers to make art. Really, you can make art with anything, mostly if you're just starting art or if you're still young, you do not need all these Copic markers to make art. It took me 20 years to get all these markers. But since now I have a lot of colors I can choose from, it was just a lot easier for me to make like the slightest color change in certain areas. I don't know if you can tell, but I used like 10 different colors for the hair. The top part of her hair is more like a bluish toned purple, while the bottom part of her hair is more violet toned purple. I used like 10 different markers for her skin, I used light purple for the shadow on her forehead, brownish colors for the shadow for her neck, pinkish toned colors for her cheeks, and yellowish toned colors for the rim of her face. And just a tip, when I'm coloring in the skin for girls, I usually use like reddish toned colors in general to give it like a peachy rosy glow, while for guys, I use like a more desaturated brownish colors in general. Now that I have all these markers, I'm really excited to get colored pencils. I asked you guys which colored pencils you guys recommend, and a lot of you guys recommended Prismacolor colored pencils. I'm currently using colored pencils that I got from a dollar store, and while they're impressive for the price, they're not the best colored pencils for drawing. <laughs> Anyways, this is how my first drawing turned out. Next up, I went through all my comments and thank you guys so much, I literally read every single one. I noticed that I got a lot of Attack on Titans requests. One of my favorite mangas ever as well, so I decided to draw Mikasa. Since I wanted to make these drawings a lot more challenging and time consuming, I decided to draw Mikasa's full body where she's jumping to attack. Honestly, it's a lot more time consuming to draw the whole body because you need to get the anatomy correct. And I mean, you don't really normally see a human moving like that with the body twisted in air, so you kinda need to use your imagination. Drawing a complex body position with just imagination is harder than just drawing a bust up headshot. So this was quite challenging to be honest. I honestly avoid these type of drawings because they're usually too time consuming, but I mean, I'm going to try my best. I started off with outlining with a pink pen, which I actually regretted later on. I like to change the color of the lines. Like black will work with anything, but brown makes everything look a lot softer. Pink will give like a very cutesy look, blue will give a more, how should I say it, like a clean look? But honestly, pink was not it for Mikasa. 
She's like jumping and ready to attack a titan that's literally 50 times bigger than her and that cutesy color was not it. I also tried coloring her hair with gray and black. I mean, she does have a very deep black hair so it should work, but I don't know. Overall, I just really didn't like how it turned out. I started to use a lot of white to cover up her face and I just couldn't make it work so I decided to go to sleep. The next day. And the next day. I was still not satisfied with how it was looking, so I decided to redraw the whole thing. I got my light box and a new sheet of paper. By the way, I'm using the paper which I also got at the shopping spree, but these are made for Copic markers. This time, I went over it with gray multi-liner pen and colored in her hair with brown and black, not gray and black. However, uh, I accidentally deleted the footage, so sadly, I don't have anything more to show you guys for Mikasa. But this is how she turned out. Oh look, she's flying. Okay, my third drawing. Today, I just wanted to draw an original character. I wanted to draw something with 100% my style. So I decided to draw Shelly. Shelly is this cartoonish girl that I designed and she's a mermaid that's a maid. She lives with her pet friend Flapjack Octopus named Taco, but I'm not going to draw him today. So yeah, you can forget about him. Today, I'm going to draw her like an anime character, and since I didn't want her to be too complex, I decided to draw a bust up drawing. Her hand on her chin, like, that's like a really cliche anime drawing. They do all these poses that literally don't make sense. I just wanted to try out new techniques and coloring methods, so this drawing was more like a practice than anything. But honestly, I'm really happy with how she turned out. I started off with purple multi-liner pen for her line art, but then later on went over it with brown to make it look softer. Sometimes using two colors make it even look better. For her hair, I think I used like pink and oh, just a tip for coloring, I think it always looks better if you use a lot of random colors. Like when you're coloring the hair purple, a hint of pink, yellow, and blue makes it look more unique. The coloring doesn't need to be extreme, it could be subtle, but really don't be afraid to use any color for the hair. And the eyes. I used like green, blue, pink, purple, yellow, just all blended in together. I also like to make the highlight for the eyes in the shape of a diamond. If you've seen my other videos, you have probably have seen me do this a lot, but I think it just looks more unique. It's a very Minori style. And again, very Minori, but I like to make certain areas very rosy and then add a highlight on top like the cheeks, nose, and the shoulders. However, I think I went a little bit too overboard for the shoulders. Minori, sometimes you need to know the limits and kind of refrain by doing too much of what you like. Like even for makeup, you would sometimes put too much blush and end up looking like Pikachu. So I need to control myself. <laughs> and this is how she turned out. On to the next drawing, Sailor Pluto. One of the best Sailor Senshis in my opinion, like she's legit the best. I tried drawing her with half original style and half my style, kinda. Sailor Moon has this distinct drawing style and they all have this really curvy body with really long legs and arms. Their fingers are a bit pointy and I wanted to have that authentic Sailor vibe a bit while mixing in my style. So yes, it doesn't look quite like the original. It kind of shocked me actually when I looked her up. She's not as dark skinned as I thought she would be because in these mangas, she looks way different. I believe she's a very great character and she should have been colored a bit more darker for the animes, so I'm coloring her the way I think she should be. But she's like a really hard character to color in general. If you look her up, you will see all these drawings with different shades for her hair, skin, and her clothes. Like, she looks so different. I guess I colored in her hair in a greenish tone, but like her clothes and some drawings, it looks like black. Some looks like brown, navy, purple. I really, really couldn't tell what color they were. So for my Pluto, I decided to make it like a more purplish black and mixed in a hint of light blue. Someone please tell me what color they are. Oh, I also never noticed that her eyes are red and they're so pretty. It matches the accessories and we can't forget about the keys. She's the gatekeeper and the keeper of the keys. Such a pretty character.
Okay, after drawing for a few hours, I needed to take a break, so I decided to eat my dinner. Coloring in long hair is so hard because it's harder to control. I kinda added a lot of white highlight using my white pen to make it look like a more flowy look, but I still need to work on it. Another anime drawing tip, when you color in, it looks kinda better if you leave a white space around the outer edge. Like, leave a space between the line art and the coloring. I add this random strip of white line for everywhere like the face, legs, clothes, hair, again using my white pen. A lot of people have asked me about this white pen, but I feel like any gel white pen will work. I think you can find some at the art stores, but I really recommend using these for anime drawings. And this is how she turned out. So for my last drawing, a lot of you guys commented to draw a character from Twisted Wonderland. If you guys don't know what Twisted Wonderland it's is, totally it's different this from gaming app made from Disney. I've been interested about it for a while, but I'm just not like a real gamer, so I finally got to download and play. And oh my gosh, they're all so cute with great voices. But I think I have to hey, go with that him. guy has Tanjiro's voice. Very interesting. And after playing for like a few hours, I finally got my conscious back and decided to draw Riddle Roseheart. I have to say he turned out to be the best out of all. Like really, I got a lot of requests to draw a character from Twisted Wonderland. And more and more, I see it's really really popular. By the way, who's your favorite character? Oh, and please comment below for more character ideas because it really helps me to choose the characters. Sometimes I take way too long to start drawing because I'm not sure what to draw. By the way, I normally do choose girl characters because I just like to draw girls more than guys. Not because I can't draw them, but because like drawing girls make me happy. Cute is my vibe and I just like cute things and cute girls. Okay, back to the video. He has a really complicated design. I mean, he has this rose with like this blood dripping effect on the cloak with a yellow and black bumblebee looking ribbon on his hips. Like this drawing was quite time consuming. And I think I had a little bit too much fun drawing him with a lot of random colors. I guess since it's my last drawing, I wanted to go like really colorful. Again, Minori, you sometimes go a little too overboard. But like for the shadows for his white suit, I mean just using gray and black for the shadows looked too boring. So instead I used light blue, light green, purple, and pink. Like really just randomly. Honestly, I was a bit afraid in the middle because I had no clue what I was doing, but I just kept going. And for the cloak, I mean it's supposed to be black, but I don't like using just black, so I used navy instead. I also added a random strip of red on the outer edge for the cloak. I honestly don't know why I did that, but like random colors on random places make the drawing more unique, lively, and colorful, and I'm all for it. For the hair, I think I blended in a little too much that it gave this like watercolorish feel, but I actually really like how it turned out. Overall, he turned out to be my favorite. So after a whole week of drawing, I was finally done. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready?
so Shinobu. I think she turned out quite cute. Okay, to be honest, I feel like this is an artist struggle. After you're done drawing, you start seeing all these flaws, so it's hard to be like 100% positive. Honestly, I think she turned out okay. I <laughs> mean, she's not the worst, and I'm quite satisfied. Okay, moving on. Mikasa. I have to say she's the least favorite out of all the drawings today. I did not do justice. <laughs> but you know, there's so much more to improve. Let's move on. Shelly. My original character. I think it turned out to be a really Minori drawing. I like how her eyes turned out. I think I went a little bit too overboard for the highlight on the shoulders. Yes, it's just a really my style drawing. Sailor Pluto. Sailor Moon has a very distinct style of drawing. They have very curvy and feminine features with very long legs. So that's what I was trying to recreate the most here. So it's like half Sailor Moon style, half my style. And lastly, Riddle Roseheart from Twisted Wonderland. I have to say he's my favorite out of all the drawings today. And I'm actually really, really happy with how it turned out. So what do you guys think? Oh, could you hold this for me, Max? No? So this is how my drawings turned out. I have to say, I think I improved a lot. I'm just trying to be really, really positive here. I mean, some drawings I'm not too proud of, but I had a lot of fun this week, and I still want to draw a lot more. Don't be surprised if you see another video of me drawing. Anyways, that's it for today. Hope you guys liked it, and if you did, please subscribe and comment below. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!